So I'm this so man scared. has a knife about the size of this one. Oh, it's a little bit smaller? Yeah, it's like a shank. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back to the vlog. We are currently entering day two of the birthday trip featuring also Miss Remy Ashton. Half birthday, Woo! August 7th. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and we are gonna be spending the day in La Jolla. I am so excited. I am fully on San Diego talk. And so I have looked at so many restaurants. I have looked at so many like viewpoints and the best places to scope out seals and sea lions because today is about the seals. Today is about the sea lions. Today is about identifying ear flaps versus no ear flaps. Today <laughs> is about identifying yoga pose versus banana pose. I'm gonna pop a little infographic up on screen so you too can be educated about seals versus sea lions. Woo! <laughs> the more you know. I know, the more you know. Um, I have been to San Diego before with my family, but I can't remember if we did a day in La Jolla or not. with my parents and Mia and I had only been internet friends. I still lived in Toronto and Mia drove from LA to San Diego just to hang out with me for the evening. That's so nice. Did you go to Walgreens and take a selfie? Oh, for the <laughs> memes. Oh my God. God, that was so long ago. I'll see if I can find the photo that we took in the Walgreens. I literally had it the other day. I sent it in the group chat. You're right, you did. I bet it has a date on it too. So I'll find the date of that photo. Um, so anyways, that was the last time I was in San Diego and I'm almost positive now thinking back that I didn't do a day in La Jolla and I have seen so many cute things. I'm just so excited to explore. So that's the plan for today. Um, we have a lunch reservation at a restaurant called Marisi, which looks freaking adorable. So we're gonna go eat some pasta um, in preparation for the Italy pasta that I will be eating next month. I'm so excited. So that's the plan. Um, pasta and seals, what a perfect day. And cake, we haven't eaten our cake yet. Hey, I'm ready for cake. Okay, we just arrived at lunch. Y'all, I done good. I picked such a cute spot. This restaurant is so damn cute. I could cook. I could cook. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna do the meat and cheese board to start. I'm gonna get the rigatoni pasta and I just got a little Prosecco. What a day. Literally, I could go home tomorrow and be so content. This is beautiful. Mm. Meat and cheese, meat and cheese, meat and cheese. Mm. Try it all in one mm. bite. I kind of thought there'd be like bread with it. I know, yeah, I do wish there was a carb, but Should this is beautiful. Yum. Yum. Meat and cheese, meat and cheese, meat and cheese, meat and cheese, meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. Is this Yum. all cheese? Uh huh. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Oh my god. The mains have arrived. Ooh. My, it's so good, you guys. Is it good? Everyone must come here. The prawns are gigantic. They're huge. The chicky. Protein! 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 Meat! Keto! Meat! Oh. So this excited. <laughs> okay, this is one of these California moments again where I'm like, holy shit fuck, can't believe this is just like out here. Wait, let's just go down here. I know, we're gonna go all the way down. Where, where are the seals? Oh my god, I think we have to go around to the cove. I think the cove is like around this side over here. But like, look at this gorge little cave over here. Oh my god. Hello? What was that? <laughs> this is like a train horn. <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, no, I think someone's just screaming. I think someone's just fucking with us. Wait, no, those sound like seals. Those sounds like sea lions. Sea lions are the ones that make that noise. I'm about to cry. Oh my god, okay. I saw this place on TikTok, the cave store, where you can pay. I think it's like 10 bucks or something, and you get access to these stairs that take you all the way down to the water, and you um, get to peek out a cave. I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like the view is so gorgeous. You don't need to go down because I also heard the walk back up is rough. 
Oh, sorry, striking a pose, so sorry. Love a bang until there's a slight breeze, <laughs> but we have found the seals. I could cry, they're so cute. Also, correction, sea lions. Um, also, a key characteristic is that they bark loudly, and these hoes be barking loudly. Oh my god. We initially went in the wrong direction, and there was a few, and they were kind of far in that little like cove area, but now we're actually at the real cove, and there's so many. I could cry. I just want to give them all a smooch. Uh, I don't want to find a seal. I feel like there's gotta be a seal. I'm sure if there's a seal somewhere over here. They're so cute. I'm gonna grab footage on my iPhone. I think the zoom is better. Um, to show you the seals. Again, this is one of those places that just like don't look real. That seal line is screaming. <laughs> they have to They do, they do. And listen, I am here. I am here to listen. I'm sat. I am, I am thoroughly fulfilled. So many piles of sealed pups. I'm sure they don't smell very nice, but guys, I'm so excited. I can try. Oh, so many seals. What a day. Hello. Mm. Um, hello update. It is, uh, man, I just feel like we literally just, we, like my, my order ring says that I've only done 9,000 steps, but I feel like I've been in freaking Disneyland today between all the seals. But then we just realized that we were just sweating a lot um, <laughs> while baking in the sun, going from seal viewpoint to seal viewpoint. But we didn't actually travel that far. Um, anyways, we just went to the Westfield UTC, which is one of the most beautiful malls that I've ever been to, I think. Holy shit. Um, I bought a sleep mask because the Airbnb, again, uh, with the, the, you know what, no, all the bedrooms do actually have window coverings, they are just incredibly sheer, so me and the sun at 6am this morning were like this, we're doing one of these, and so I, I got a sleep mask at Nordstrom, Rem got some makeup, Mia got an empanada, <laughs> and then we got tender greens, and we're gonna go watch the sunset at the, um, Tory Pines at Gliderport, which is one of like the most recommended sunset viewing points. Um, so like while we're up in this like northern area of San Diego, um, this was on my list. And uh, what a day, what an adventure. I think tomorrow's gonna be much more chill. We're thinking like pool day, um, gonna start my book, which I did realize was the third book in a series that has um, a few others beforehand or pretty cool, but I think I'm just gonna read it. I talked to a friend that read it out of order and she still said that she really enjoyed it. So I think that I'm just gonna go Go forth and read. Please do not come for me, book talk. Um, anyways, we've got dinner and we're gonna go watch the sunset. I do see a few clouds that were not here 30 minutes ago that I'm not super hyped about, but I think it's still gonna be a really pretty view. And I think that you cannot take off in the actual gliders um, past 5 p.m. and obviously sunset is much later than that. So I don't think there's gonna be like the iconic little glider people. I'll pop a photo on screen of like what it looks like in the daytime when the gliders can take off. Gliders. Like a, like a paraglider situation. Oh. Yeah. Like I think that this is a, a, a business. Like the glider port is like an actual like glider business that you go to from like nine to five and you can take off from that point. Yeah, but anyway, apparently it's one of the best sunset views in the city as well, so I'll see you there. Bye. Oh my God, we have arrived. Again, I'm gonna say it again. I just feel so spoiled to be seeing freaking California views. My God, are you kidding me? Look at this. This also goes all the way down and I have absolutely no interest in hiking all the way down to where those little tiny ant sized people are to get down to the beach. But on this side, this is the view and then we've made it. It's perfect timing. So there's that little building over there straight ahead is the actual glider port. Oh my God, everyone's fucking vlogging. Everyone's vlogging, this is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> 
Okay, anyways, here it is, Gorge. We're sat. Tender greens. Also, this is my um my beautiful my seating for tonight because I am wearing in fact a white skirt. But truly, I um have gotten through so many meals with no stains. Okay. Oh my god, this view is stunning. My god. Ugh. Like I just feel as if a sunset never gets old, no matter where you are. But like this view is beautiful. Oh, the coast all the way down. And I just feel like a photo and a video never does justice to how pretty a sunset is. There's also a man down here DJing, which is hilarious. I'm like, can you play Galantis? And then here's the rest of the coastline. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna enjoy dinner and the sunset, and I can't wait. There's DJ set. Come on. <laughs> Ruby just said, when does the set begin? <laughs> and I was like, oh, 7.33, exactly, PM I checked. Um, she means the DJ set. It honestly is kind of vibe. Like he's not playing anything with lyrics. It's kind of just like, it's just like atmospheric music. music right now? I can't do anything. It's, very, it's very quiet. Oh. It's just for him and his pal. So yeah, that's really nice. This feels like the kind of thing though that would be like on a TikTok live stream. Mm -hmm. I just know in my heart. That guy's definitely running the camera. Too. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's for sure being like last year or something. I'm dead. Honestly, I'm here for it. I am here for it. With the three of us here with our vlog cameras, I can't say shit. <laughs> Hello. I can't even, like, what was the last vlog clip? Actually, was that a sunset? The sunset. Okay, a beautiful sunset. Mm -hmm. Was it? Was that your last clip? I think I literally, I was like, oh, I can't wait to, oh, yeah, oh, it's a fucking time lapse of the sun setting. <laughs> what a beautiful clip. I'm sure it was wonderful. I'm sure it had a vibey song. Anyways, the night has transpired into something that could only be in a movie. <laughs> New kitchen. That means new house tour tomorrow. Um, a cake ball in my throat. One, the cake was wonderful. Two, it was a stress eating situation. So we accidentally booked our Airbnb. Um, and I mean, you saw it. the inside was gorgeous. Like it was so modern and like newly renovated. It was amazing, but it was in an area that the crime rate is quite high. And we did not realize until we got there. And the reviews on this place were just like so solid that no one mentioned it and it had a really, really high rating. So anyways, there was just like no foreseen, I mean, outside of dropping the little man on Google maps, which we definitely should have done. Anyways. All that to say, first night, totally fine. Um, and then today, today literally a, an hour and a half ago, we, as a group, all three of us, to like just, you know, power in numbers, went to go walk Ken. Um, and it was just gonna be super short because obviously it is nighttime. We're not in a gray area. Like we'll just do like half a block, literally, like just so we potties and we'll come home. So we start walking and we run into a very not sober person. Uh, to begin with and so we turn around go the opposite direction. We're like, oh, okay. Won't go that way. We'll go the other way Because he warned us. Well, because, because he literally honestly crazy guy, but quite nice gave us a yeah, nice warning He nice was like man. he was like, I hope you're not going to that guy's house over there. He's a weirdo and we're like uh, Okay, thank you so much for the advice and then we just did a 180 and start walking the other way being like great that who's ever house is over there, we have no interest in going to. So we'll go this way. I'm so curious if there was even a man there. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. He obviously was like done. not, yeah, he was not, not sober. So we turn the other direction being like, okay, great. You know what, there, it, there's, we're staying on main streets. There are lights. Again, it's only 8.30. This is not like the depth of the early mornings. We see a person coming towards us who is stumbling. Again, um, I think intoxicated or high on something. I don't know, you know, not my, not my story to tell. We cross the street. High on something, yes. High on something, yes. I'll tell the story. Yeah, <laughs> high on something, yes. He was high. Walking, you know, very not sober again. We cross the street. We then meet the final boss of the <laughs> evening. <laughs> we meet the final boss of the evening who- We hear, shit, 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 shit. 
Oh, but what is that? Could it be the sound of a knife being sharpened <gasps> with another knife? Oh, was he using two knives to sharpen each other? Mm. Yeah, he's using like something or like a, some kind of metal, metal uh, something to sharpen him. Look at the man. So I'm this man so has a knife about the size of this one. Oh, it's a little bit smaller? Yeah, it's like a fucking shank. Perfect. <laughs> my knife Perfect. of choice. Perfect. My knife of choice. So he's like... sharpening. No, that's a bread knife. Wasn't oh, a bread oh, knife. Oh, oh. I'm just using an example. It was like short and fat. It was like, it was short and oh, like this. Oh, like a yeah. literally yeah, a shank. Yeah, yeah. It was short okay. And fat. Okay, so I'm being a little dramatic. It wasn't this big. <laughs> Anyways, he's sharpening it. And we're like, oh, it's one of those moments where I'm watching my life happen in slow motion. I'm like, this is where something like life altering could actually happen. So we kind of like herd ourselves to an apartment complex to the front where like we obviously like don't have a code to get in, but just like make it look as if we're entering something. Mia's getting pepper spray ready. But it's like one of those moments where you don't really have a game plan for what the fuck's gonna happen. I'm ready to fight that bitch. Yeah. Remember we were shitting ourselves. No, we're <laughs> So he's walking by, shink, 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 shink. He's maybe 10 feet away from us. Yeah. We're like trying to be alert, but also not make eye contact as to not engage. Cause I feel like that's like the scariest part is that like yeah. him- I guess I didn't want to look scared. Didn't want to look scared. Trying to look like we are intentionally Mia moving said, somewhere. Mia, Mia, five minutes before, no, our walk had been freaking two and a half minutes. Had been like, the key is to look cunty we're and- We only out for like 10 minutes. We hadn't made it a block. Yeah. We literally had not made it a block from our Airbnb. I think I'm flinging cake all over Ken down here. I'm gonna put this knife down. He then like walks by and kind of starts like curving inwards to another entrance of the apartment building. And so we like, again, just like quickly tried to like disengage and cross the street and go home and- Should we? Should we? Acted out. Oh my no, you know what? I actually hate the sound of metal on metal. It gives me goosebumps. So I can't even reenact it because it's the worst. Like the she, she, she. That's like the worst sound. I haven't had a scary situation like that. And listen, I've lived in some really, really not great parts of Toronto. I've encountered, you know, lots of not sober people before, and this was this was a scary one. It was just scary because he got so close. He was so close and, and there was we no one there. else around. That was the thing too, is that there was no yeah. one else around. That was, I think, what was so scary. 8.30 p.m. I think that was the knife sharpening that was I mean, yeah, listen, that, 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 again, final boss, yeah. okay, final boss. I haven't um, decided exactly how to handle it with Airbnb and the uh, previous owner, or the, the previous Airbnb owner, so that will be a task for tomorrow, but um, definitely do feel a little mismatch. 11 11 make a wish for no shanking. You can't say it out loud. No! Oops. Shank, 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 shank. In all seriousness though, like we did not feel safe in, we didn't feel safe before that happened. And then we had that happen and it was like, okay. It's still not feel, feel safe. Maybe. And then you know what? The new fucking Airbnb also it doesn't, doesn't have really front window safe. coverings. <laughs> We had to resort to foil. <laughs> and so now there's foil and towels hung up on the front doors. But we are in a much, 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 much better neighborhood. Um, and so I think that it will be smooth sailing, hopefully, uh, from here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna yes, be it will great. Be. It will be. The <sighs> so anyways, that's the update. Um, really thought the vlog was gonna end with that beautiful sunset, and unfortunately, <laughs> it did not. Okay, good night. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day and we had a beautifully uneventful evening <laughs> after, like almost killed us. except for, okay, so <laughs> that did happen. That was today though, that was not last night. Last night was uneventful and wonderful. Slept like a baby, didn't have any kind of machete stabbing dreams. Also, did you know that when you go to send money on Venmo, they do read the memo of the caption of what you send your money with because uh, we were able to get a day and a half worth of refund from the host who was so incredibly nice. Um, so I have to figure out how I want to navigate the review because like, I just feel as if it is my responsibility as an Airbnb guest to, you know, like let, I, I never want to put another woman in a position like that where that was just like fucked. So they handled it really, really well. So I'm gonna make sure that I like focus on that part as well too. They were so accommodating and she was able to process a refund for a day and a half. Um, 
but I'm not gonna I can't not mention that um, so anyways like I don't want to come for their business obviously in their property listing she hates small businesses <sighs> I mean Airbnb is not a small business let's be honest <laughs> so uh, got the refund processed sent everyone their money back for their third of the Airbnb uh, tried to title it machete as a joke <laughs> had to reinstall the app and restart my Venmo <laughs> Got, got banned. <laughs> got banned for a couple seconds and then it was fine. Um, but just a heads up, they do in fact, so if you are paying money for illegal things, uh, this was not illegal. Anyways, now we are on our way to uh, Liberty Station, which is um, in a wonderful neighborhood that is close to us now. And uh, to go check out the store Pigment, which I have had saved on my San Diego list. It looks so cute. It looks full of trinkets. And um, I've got a little growing keychain collection on my purse and I would like to continue adding to it. So hopefully I find something that's gonna be a vibe. Um, I've got three so far. I feel like you can't see my bedazzled pickleball keychain. <laughs> Here's the bedazzled pickleball. If you can see her, oh God. Wow, beautiful harbor. Man, our neighborhood upgrade is crazy. <laughs> this was on my list. So I know there's a few locations. We're in Liberty Station and this store is so cute. Oh my God. I love a trinket. Look at these glasses. <gasps> that little cowboy boot is so cute. I've started kind of collecting um, little keychains for my purse. Oh, I love this glass. I would love to drink some Prosecco out of this. Wow. Ooh, a bagu. Love a bagu. Everything in here is so cute though. <gasps> oh. The plant woman in her has These arisen. These plants are rare and expensive. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Actually, I don't know if it's rare anymore. Everything's, ooh, is this a puzzle? This is so cute. Damn. That's it. That's what, what is she? This shit used to be fucking 300 like a couple years really? ago. Really? Ooh. Keychain. Ooh, bristles. Ooh. Oh, beautiful, God. Beautiful. I love a trinket. I have found a possible chinky. Chinky. Shut the fuck up. Will Jeremy still be with me if I put that on my car? Yes. Because he married you. He has to. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming on with me. Oh, my God. Mother so Lana. I'm going to get Wait, that, Oh, yeah. Ollie needs I'm that. I love it. Small, Small but scrappy. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the Snoopy. The serving These one is so, so cute. <gasps> That's adorable. I wish it was pickleball. These are really oh cute. God. Garlic Wait. girl. Live free, eat, eat trash. trash. I'm dead. Oh, this whole section safer is so cute. Obsessed. Is that a Care Bear? It's safer like, than, safer a than a man. That's so funny. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. <gasps> I already have a pickleball keychain, so it might be too much to get a second one, but look how cute this is. Is that what you're looking for? For a, a keychain? I just want to keep adding to my collection on my bag, and oh, I feel like, right. yeah. They have them all scattered around. I know, so here's one here. Here's an option, doing my best. I do relate to that. I have found the jelly cats. Oh my God, they're so cute. I already have a Squishmallow keychain though, so I feel like it's just a little too much to have another like whole ass plushie on here. But everything is so cute. I just love a color-coded store. <gasps> God, there's nothing more. Okay, like one, love a trinket, but love a store that's just full trinkets and a Grumpy He's girl. so cute. He's so cute. But the store is so Still big. I feel plants. like trinket stores There's and like plants. gift stores are never this big. This feels like such a treat. Ooh, a shopping cart keychain. Cute, cute. I saw another little wall over here. Also, so many cute cards. Love a good card. But look at all of these keychain options. Do these are horoscopes? Ooh, okay. Oh my god, this whole back section has like DIY planters and terrariums. This is so cute. Such sparkly sand options. Wow. What a cute store. What a cute woman. <laughs> this is so gorge. Wow. It's so cute. I want to buy all of them. Oh my god, I know. But I can't take it to dinner. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can do Would it not survive the car ride home? I mean, would I walk back to the car before dinner? 
I don't feel like it. <laughs> Too much work. Pigment haul. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the bumper sticker. <laughs> Literally, I don't know if possums or opossums make this sound, but I definitely do, so I think it's appropriate. And also, there's so many goddamn white Teslas in LA that I, I do actually need something to differentiate my car, and this is perfect. This is not enough. This is not enough. No, <laughs> it's not. It is actually really helpful, though, when I can see into the dash and I know this is my car. Um, I got this little frog sticker. Who is that hottie? So funny. And then um, Mia found this bow clip. So adorable. It's got a little so ombre, a little gradient to it. And then I got a little bracelet. So cute. I was unsuccessful in my search for a keychain. Nothing felt right. So we're not going to force it. Hello, good morning. It is officially checkout day. We had a wonderful night at a beautiful restaurant on the water called Island Prime. Um, and then we came back and went for a wonderfully safe walk in our neighborhood with the dog, walked down to the beach. It was very, very cute. Um, so we are checking out currently and I forgot that I, when we got here, it was all like very much in a tizzy. So I'll show you around and give you a quick little 30 second house tour. Um, because we, I feel like immediately came in and just like dumped our shit everywhere. So the house actually looks much more put together now as we're checking out. Um, and it was a wonderful, unplanned little second location home for us. Good morning. Good morning. The kitchen. Good morning. So cute. Coastal farmhouse is how it was advertised to us, right, Corn? Very, very cute. Um, love the blue kitchen. So here's the kitchen. And then honestly, kind of like a weird use of just empty open areas here. Some chairs here, a little egg swing, fireplace, and then the couch. So the TV um, fully swung out to face the couch, which was great. So we actually pulled this out all the way. Like there's a pull out couch, or sorry, a pull out bed in the couch. So we pulled that out and had a wonderful movie loaf day yesterday. We watched Pitch Perfect 3. We watched Mean Girls original and the new Mean Girls. So had a wonderful girls loaf day. Um, here is the primary bedroom. We've got two beds in here. Sorry that it's kind of dark. Kind of weird that the fireplace like is just open to the other side. Like there's the kitchen through the fireplace. A little bit odd. Um, and then this way we've got, it's like a nice little loop. Another bedroom here. This is where Mia and Ken slept. I was in this one here, a very cute, also love a ceiling fan. Don't have any ceiling fans in my home and I love a ceiling fan, miss it so much. And then uh, we've got the room that Ren slept in over here, another bathroom, and then it loops all the way over back to the kitchen. There's like um, a little area over here with laundry and you're back to the kitchen. And then in the front yard, we didn't end up even really enjoying much of this, um, but we've got some uh, freaking, what is this called again? Not beanbag. Frick, what's the name of this? I forget. And then a whole mini putt, our, our second mini putt course of the trip. Oh god, there's a plane flying overhead, so sorry for the audio. Mini golf, cornhole. That's the name of it, cornhole. And then a little outdoor dining set over here. And uh, it's always happy hour here. Time to go home and see the puppies and see the Jeremy. Hello. Oh, fuck, I got Peter Gummer. Hang on. I'm gonna put this on top of you. No one panic, no one freak out. No, you did not. Just right on top of the list. No, you did not. <laughs> do you wanna throw it away? I mean, do you have a trash? Here, put it in here. Oh. Thank you so, so much. Welcome. Just take this I'm off the top of my leg. Of the camera. <laughs> Just put it in corn. Um, so we made a little pit stop at this new um, Jelly Cat store in just outside of Irvine, kind of in a weird like red. I feel like I'm in someone's neighborhood right now. I mean, I definitely am because like there's just like a big giant apartment complex next to it. So we're in this random plaza in Orchard Hills, uh, outside of Irvine, and it is a Miffy and Jelly Cat store. I wasn't successful in my keychain search yesterday, and I think this may be the spot. Oh, she's a deli, jelly cat fashion queen. I fear my armpit will get sweaty and like sweat maybe. on. I mean, I, mean, I have to just dab up the sweat with an ear, you so know? So true. So true. It is sweat absorbent. It's so cute. It's really oh cute. my oh, god. Cool. There's a soft teddy bear <gasps> one. A teddy bear. Wait, oh, it's so really cute. <laughs> Also, this whole store is out of control. I don't know what to do. 
I love the little cherry. This is really cute. Also, keychains galore. Keychains absolutely galore. I'm dying at the Halloween collection. Look at these, so cute. Also, this campfire is not like one that I want to take home, but look at this. This is so good, it's so creative. I'm obsessed. I have found the keychain mother load. I kind of leaning towards just like a classic red heart. This might be a little too seasonal, but he is really cute. And then there's the classic bunnies as well. So cute. Other side, other side, purses. Oh my God, all of the ones that have like the little home are so cute with this frog and the mushroom. Little bear in a tree, sleeping bag. So cute, I'm dying. The little fox in his den. The bumblebee in his hive. Ginny mini haul. Okay, I didn't go crazy, um, but I did get this very cute little green miffy. Eee! So cute for just like my shelf collection of collectibles. Um, and then we are successful in the hunt for a keychain, a very classic little heart. He's so cute. You, 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 you. And then um, my friend Danny, who was on a recent episode of the podcast, um, she got me my very first jelly cat. And so I got her a jelly cat as well too. I got her a little coffee bean because she loves coffee. It's so, it's so cute. And I'm seeing her in New York in a few weeks. So I figured this is a really good travel size jelly cat as well too. He's very cute. Um, I could have bought one of everything in that store. Um, and I did in fact refrain, but I did not want to. Hi guys, it is the day after arriving home and I have one bubby snoot to offer you. There's also a Mr. Man somewhere over here with a Mr. Jeremy as well too, this pile of pup over here. Uh, but we are home and just got home from a little game night and dinner. Wow, big yawn, big yawn from a little puppy. Uh, but anyways, wanted to end the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the trip to San Diego. Um, all uh, knife sharpening and potentially violent encounters aside, we did as well. It was a wonderful trip. I love so much that Mia and Remy are just as committed as I am for the trip, making it out of the group chat every year for birthdays and for Vlogmas, um, for our little like winter trip during December. Um, it just like is so nice and warms my heart and we have such a good time and I miss them already. Happy to be home, reunited with all of my boys, like this flailing pup back here. <laughs> Diggo. <laughs> Diggo, you wanna say hi? Was it hi with the man? I had Ken in the vlog, but I didn't have any with the man in the vlog. Oh, that's perfect. Hi with the man. Oh, that's perfect. I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> I think that's enough. That's enough. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Ah, uh, yes, the symphony of my home. Some puppy water guzzling. Just in time to end the vlog. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think I'll probably have one more vlog up before I head to New York next week for my little speaking thing um, with YouTube. So I will see you soon. Also, oh my God, we got the wedding video back. We got the super like short version and also the super long version, but I had requested um, after seeing those versions, a cut that was like 10 to 12 minutes. And so we just got it back yesterday. And so cute. So it's so cute. It's so cute. He did such a great job. We're so happy with it. Um, so trying to decide where to put that. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I go back and forth. So we'll see. It's so cute. Anyways, that'll be up soon. Can't wait to share it. Can't wait for you to see it because it's been four months now, I think. April, April, May, June, July. Yeah, it's been like four and a half months, so it's time. It is time. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.